Welcome to the dollhouse. These limbs, cameras, and knives are actually part of a scientific experiment designed by Henrik to play with our subconscious mind's sense of who and where we are. Well, we know that there's lots of processes in the brain that we're not aware of, that happens at the subconscious level. What we try to understand is what makes those signals become part of our conscious experience. A blindfolded subject is led into a room with two beds, one for himself and the other for a small doll. It's important that you try not to move during the experiment, okay? We use head-mounted displays that we connect to cameras. So it's two screen in front of the participant's eyes, and each screen is connected to one video camera, which we can mount on the head of a mannequin or a doll. So when you look down, you don't see your own body anymore, you see the doll from the natural first-person perspective. The subject feels the stroking on his leg, but sees the stroking on the doll's leg. So his brain is fooled into thinking that the doll's legs are actually his own. It happens then is the brain just fuses what you see and what you feel, and boom, you feel like the doll or the mannequin. Well, we think the brain creates like an internal model of your own body. And we think the brain does that by integrating all available information from all the senses and be part of making that decision that this is me or this is not me. Having tricked the brain into a false reality, Henrik can now tweak that reality and reveal how powerful the subconscious actually is. The researcher threatens the doll with a knife. The subject flinches with horror. His brain can't help but expect excruciating pain. Even after the subject realizes it was a trick, he continues to have the same reaction when the illusion is repeated. His conscious experience cannot override his subconscious reaction. You can't think it away. You know it's just you know, an experiment. But you can't help that bodily feeling of, uh, because you feel that this doll is you. So your brain just reacts in a very sort of basic way. And that signal, this reaction is what we're measuring to really prove that the illusion is.